Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise, and today's video is going to be 10 fun facts about betta fish. Now, I've actually already filmed five of the facts, so you'll see me change shirts here in a few, but that's why. It's because I've already filmed some for another project that I was working on, and I wanted to go ahead and add the other five facts, so that's where we're going to begin. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to share fun facts with you guys that you guys may not know, or I mean, you may know some, but you may not know others, so I thought it would be a really good idea. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Alrighty, so one fact about betta fish that is probably the literal coolest that a lot of people may not know is that betta fish change colors. So not all of them do, but a vast majority of betta fish out there actually will change colors and they will change colors quite often and they can change colors quite fast, like at a snap of a finger, an overnight kind of thing. I've had it happen a lot, but if you guys have ever seen the classic, The Wizard of Oz, and you know that part where they talk about the horse of a different color. That's a horse of a different color! Come on in! And they're in Oz, and that horse just changes colors. Well, betta fish do literally the same thing, and it is called marbling. So, betta fish do a thing called marbling to where it is just it's something that has to do with their genes. It's the marble gene. And when a betta fish has this gene, they actually change colors throughout their whole entire lives. And this can literally be an overnight thing. And one thing about my channel that is big on my channel that I do is I breed betta fish and I do sell them. So I am currently on my third and fourth spawn right now. The fourth one hopefully very soon. And I experience this quite often. So honestly, quite often this happens even overnight. I will have a betta fish of say, bright dark blue and red and then I can wake up and it will be almost cellophane to cellophane with black markings and it's just so so cool and a lot of people may not know this and if you do have like betta fish from a pet store it is most likely that you will have a marble because most of the pet store bettas are marbles and by that I do mean most of like the chain pet store bettas but I will have a couple of examples to show you guys because this is something extremely neat and fascinating about betta fish and I just feel like a lot of people don't even know this and it's something that definitely deserves to be known because it's one of the things that make these fish so awesome and so unique and different. Alrighty, so the very second fun fact is gonna be one that I don't even know what you would, I don't know like what to call it, so I'm just gonna explain it. So one thing that's really interesting about betta fish is of course they do flare, and by flare that means that they flare out a beard, and boys do predominantly have bigger and larger beards than their female counterparts. But, but this is something that they do quite often, especially when they are sensing, like they want to be aggressive or if they're angry or just anything like that. If they see a predator or another betta fish near them or when they are wanting to breed, this happens quite often as well. And so the little fun fact that I have for you today is that if they flare too hard or too much, their gill caps could actually get like permanently or at least for a long time like dislodged and their gill can actually be always out and this is something that I actually learned quite recently and I do find it interesting because when you are in the hobby or any any hobby with pets I feel like we're always constantly learning and gaining new knowledge and this is one of the things that I've recently learned and I actually have my fish Kudo that I raised and bred myself who did this and he actually has his gill um I don't know if he will ever, you know, have it to come back down, but it is dislodged. So he swims around with one gill cap out and it's quite adorable. But that is something that can actually happen and flaring is one of the things that actually, you know, to me and I feel like to a lot of people makes betta fish really unique because they look super cute and they look like they have big monkey ears when they do it but it's just something that also makes them extremely unique. So the third fun fact that I am mentioning today has to do with the fact that bettas that you would have as a pet in your home normally they are not the same type as bettas that you would find in the wild. So the normal pet shop betta, or normally even ones that you would get from a breeder, unless there is a breeder that does have wild ones, the bettas that you will normally have are domesticated betta fish. So the ones with the big old long fins and all the fancy coloring, most of the fancy coloring, you're not gonna find in the wild. And bettas do predominantly come from Indonesia and like Thailand, and they are actually quite a lot different and I will definitely insert pictures 
So the wild type betta will normally have a lot shorter fin and their body shape will also be a little bit different. So really these fish, although they are both betta fish, Siamese fighting fish, whatever you do want to call them, they are technically different. So really the ones that we normally all would have right now are domesticated and are in fact not the type that you would find out in the wild. So the fourth fun fact is that when betta fish are babies and into their little juvenile stage, they can actually change genders. So like I say, I am a betta breeder and I do raise these fish and for the first little while, and it, I've been told this, especially at the beginning when I really wasn't for sure, um, that they can change gender so you can have a fish that will like start out as a girl and it can change into a boy or vice versa and it just kind of happens females definitely are known for having an egg spot which is one thing that can help you determine whether a female is a female or not it is like a white little spot on their belly and you can tell and that means that they are a female but juvenile males can actually start out with an egg spot as well and they can be kind of tricky um, and they can also like I say be a female so I just find that kind of interesting that you can have something that changes gender so fast like that and it all just has to do with the chemical makeup and there definitely is in grow out tanks tons of different hormones going around so it definitely makes sense but it is something that is quite interesting because I mean at least I don't think and correct me if I'm wrong but puppies and like kittens and things like that are definitely born and are become one gender and do not change but benefits do so okay and finally the fifth fun fact for today's video is that females actually can make bubble nests so it is a myth going around out there that females do not make bubble nests and that males are the only ones that do but in fact females can normally and most always know they are not as big and as extravagant as male bubble nest but but they are there and normally females will do this when they are interested in breeding so normally you'll see just a little bit of bubbles here and there and like the smallest like little like cluster of bubbles I don't know how to put it but females definitely can and I have a quite a few that actually have before like I said especially when they get ready to breed my sixth fun fact is the fact that betta fish make bubble nests now a lot of people still don't know this and they still ask me like what is like happening what are what is my betta fish doing and a bubble nest is what a male betta fish primarily females can as well but male fish primarily do especially when they are wanting to breed it is a breeding habit it's just something that they do because that is where the eggs are kept once a betta fish breeds they are kept in the bubble nest for the father to take care of them it is very normal do all betta fish do it a lot no is that okay yes like they don't have to they don't always have to um some may more than others and it's just completely up to the personality of your betta fish so sticking with a little bit of the like role of breeding my next fun fact actually is how they breed so i feel like this is a question that a lot of you guys have um that don't really know and basically the answer is is when the female and the male are in the tank together the male and the female come together and the male actually wraps his whole entire body around the female and squeezes the eggs out so he does this the eggs squeeze out the woman the woman the girl kind of goes into a comatose state just briefly and then comes back up and then they just keep doing it until all the eggs are out and of course the male picks up the eggs and puts them in the nest so for the eighth fact we are sticking with breeding once again and talking about who takes care of the babies so the mother actually doesn't take care of the babies if you are new to my channel then this is something that you probably don't know if you are avid to my channel then you probably do know this but the female does not take care of the babies honestly once they have bred you really need to move the female right out because she will eat the eggs and it's just not a good thing so this is one of those cases where the dads take care of the babies which i think is really cool because you see like dads play a big role in like seahorses and penguins and stuff like that and with betta fish it is just the same so the ninth fun fact i feel like a lot of you guys know this like especially again you know if you are a avid part of my channel but betta fish do flare now a lot of people like i said don't know this and they get nervous when they see their betta fish do this but it is very normal and it's one of those things again that just kind of depend on your betta fish it's all about their personality your betta fish may not flare all the time it may flare a lot 
but this is another thing that has to do with breeding habits and also aggression anything like that can make your betta fish flare but it's okay it's perfectly normal and the amount of times your betta fish does it is just completely up to them and nothing is like unsafe when it comes to them flaring like if they flare a lot like that's not unsafe if that makes sense so the tenth and final fact is that a lot of people think that females can only be like small with short fins but that is so not true some females actually do have long fins and can be very closely mistaken to as a boy and I've actually came across this in my most recent spawn with thinking one of the little males was a, a female just by the way he was shaped but it is it is more on the rare side but not too rare just more uncommon but females can actually have long fins like males they can be very easily mistaken but they just kind of are in a disguise kind of form they they mostly disguise themselves as juvenile males like a smaller kind of male ordeal but there is some out there so not all females have smaller bodies with short fins all right you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm sorry about like the whole outfit change like different kind of setting thing because i did film this in the span of two different days because of the project i was working on but i really really do hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you got something out of these fun facts Especially if you didn't know before and I really hope that you enjoy it like I said if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to check out my merch here's the address right here and it will also be on the end screen and in the i cards above and not to mention I do have a PO box in case you do want to send me anything I open everything that I get on camera and it's always really fun so here's the address for that and other than that please make sure to subscribe to my channel which you can do by hitting my face right here and you can watch another of my videos by clicking right here and it would mean the world to me if you would do so and I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this, and I will see you guys in my next video.